I've watched over 100 videos on creating transitions in Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, and also Final Cut Pro. And from that, I've picked 10 best transitions you can create in CapCut PC. And make sure you stick around to the end of this very video for one bonus transition you can create. All right, guys, let's get started. This is when you speed up the ending part of the first clip and then you speed up the beginning part of the second clip. So for example, I have these two clips in the timeline and before you go ahead, make sure you stabilize the shot. This looks a bit smooth, so I don't need to stabilize it. Just click on the first clip, go to speed, click on that and click on curve. I'm gonna use flash out on this side. Then with the middle points, I'm gonna delete that, select that and then click on the minus sign then let's increase this part and then i'm gonna play and look at how it looks like i want it to be a bit short so i'm gonna click on that go to speed and move this point closer a bit and always make sure you move the two points together when one goes up the speed looks a bit fast and weird so make sure it stays together now i'm gonna click on the second clip still on curve I'm going to select flash in just like we did previously. I'm going to delete this middle one and then increase this part. Then I'm going to move this a bit closer and play and look at how it looks like. Pretty cool. Now let's make that extra smooth. This is what we're going to do. We're going to add motion blur to it. With CapCut, when I add motion blur, it looks weird with the rest of the videos. And we want it to affect only the speed ramp part. So this is what we're going to do. Let's select that clip. Click on speed. We want to see exactly where it is. So it's on this side. Then I can click somewhere in the timeline. Press M to drop a marker in the timeline. Then this, I'm going to select speed. I just want to see exactly where it is. Somewhere here. So I can click somewhere in the timeline and drop a marker on that side. Now I'm going to select both of the clips. Option G to create a compound clip. And then I can make a cut on this side. So B to bring the blade tool out. Make a cut on this side. And make a cut on this side too. Now press A for the select tool. And select the compound clip. Then go to the right side. And turn on motion blur. Then with the blurs, mostly I go to somewhere 60 to 70. And then with the speed, you can increase it. I like to go for twice or four times. And then when you play and look at it. So this works perfectly when the object or the subject move across the screen. In CapCut, we don't have the pen tool to draw around the subject or the object. So mostly when the object or the subject is in a straight line or in a straight form or in a rectangle form, it becomes very easy. So here in the timeline, I have these two video clips. And when you look at it, this looks like a wood or a tree and it goes across the screen. So with this, lift the first clip from the timeline. So we have something like this. Now let's go to where we can see the tree fully on the screen. Make sure you click on that video clip. Then go to the right side, click on mask. I'm going to use horizontal for this transition. Just click on that and let's rotate it. Now I'm going to drag it to this side so I can see the end of this very tree and rotate it a bit. Now on fader, let's increase that to somewhere three to five. And now we can drop a keyframe on rotate and position. Now let's go back three or five frames backwards and let's move the mask a bit so we can see the tree to something like this. I can go back one or two frames and now I can move the mask fully. And also I can rotate it to exactly 90. So now let's go to this very keyframe. Let me stretch this so you guys can see. And now let's go three or five frames forward. Then move the horizontal mask to, to this very side. So we're going to follow this tree till the tree goes off the screen. And I'm going to be fast on that side. When you're done, play back and check and see if you have some corrections to make. So there you go, very easy to create these kind of transitions. So this is mostly done in music videos and I'm going to show you guys three ways that you can use these transitions. So the first one, we're just going to make a duplicate of the first clip. Press option and drag upwards. 
let's trim the ending part of this first clip now we can trim this side off too now press b for the blade tool and then we're going to cut one frame just like this now let's delete one frame of just like this so we can have spaces in between them so with this we can just select all of them go to adjustment and then on exposure we can increase that so when you look at it it's going to have flash and also the flicker effect at the same time now let me show you the second way of creating this transition with that go to the left side click on library and then click on background we're going to use white background for this but you can use any background or image that you want to use drag and drop in the timeline let's trim the ending part of press w to trim that off now just like we did earlier on i'm going to cut some frames of it and then i'm going to delete that off just like we did earlier on so now when i play i show you guys very nice and clean now let's move on to the third way we're going to use this second clip press option and drag upwards let me trim the ending part w for that b for blade tool and then i'm going to cut one frame of it drag this to somewhere here now i'm going to delete the ones that i don't need and now when i play and show you guys i'm going to transition easily into the next clip so with this transition i'm going to show you guys two ways you can create it so the first one we're going to bring in the white background drag and drop in the timeline and i want it to be somewhere 10 to 11 frames so i'm going to select this side w to trim the ending part off and place it right in the middle of these two clips with that selected go to video click on the blend and let's turn opacity to somewhere 80 percent now make a keyframe on that side make sure you are really in the middle of the two then let's go to the first frame turn opacity to zero and automatically it's going to create a keyframe on that side now let's go to the last but one frame so i can stretch this a bit and drop the keyframe on this side drag opacity to zero and it's going to create another keyframe on that side now when i play and show you guys we have this nice flash if you want it to be very slow we can just move the keyframes a bit from each other so i can go for something like this and then play and show you guys very easy to create this now let me show you the second way that you can create this transition select the two clips option g to create a compound clip and this is the middle of the two clips let's drop a marker on that side so it will be easy for us now select that go to adjustment on exposure or highlights we can use any of them i'm going to use exposure i'm going to increase that and then drop a keyframe on that side now i can go some frames backwards turn down the exposure to zero this was the middle one so i'm going to go a bit forward to this side and turn it to zero once again now when i play and show you guys so with this transition i use it a lot in my music videos too so with this very transition we're going to take our playhead to the starting frame of the second clip make sure you select that right click go to edit and select freeze let's move the freeze frame on top of the first clip we want it to be very short somewhere five to ten frames with that selected go to video on the right side click on remove background then you can either use auto removal or use custom removal if you have the pro version custom removal is very clean i'm going to use auto removal and it's going to remove the background easy just like that then with that i can easily go to animation and choose any animation i want to use for this i want something like slide left or right so i'm going to use slide left and with this kind of transition mostly i want it to be a bit fast depending on the music video i'm editing so with this i just want it to be a bit short so i'm going to trim the beginning off then i'm going to play and see how it looks like and this is another cool way that you can play around it click on that option g to make a compound clip then press option and make a duplicate just like this and i'm gonna do it two more times and now when i play and show you guys what we have it creates this a bit kind of flicker and also at the same time freeze frame transition 
This is the most used transition and it's so effective. You can get some free ones from pexos.com but if you want a paid premium ones then you can go to Motion Array or Evato Element. So I'm going to use one that I got free online. Just select, drag it in between these two clips. That was pretty long one. So I just want this very part. So just trim this side off and trim this side off too. Now with that selected, go to the right side. With the blend, let's change it to screen. And now when I play, I'll show you guys. This is similar to overlay transitions, but this comes in a preset form. On CapCut, you can get some few ones. Just go to transitions, click on this drop down menu, then click on glitch. And so far, I really like the glitch flash drag and drop in between these two clips. Let's play and see how it looks like. If it's a bit short, you can just stretch it or increase the duration on the right side. So this is when the audio of the next clip begins before the visual transition happens. I use this a lot in my vlogs edit. So here in the timeline, we have these two videos and I want the audio to start before the visual shows on the screen. So a simple way of using this, just right click on that and select extract audio. Then before we trim the beginning part of this video, go to this side and turn off magnet, track magnet. Now I can easily trim this side off. Then select this tool and move it closer to this very video clip. Now let's turn the track magnet on and play and show you guys how it looks like. Transition into a full-time content creator in this very apartment. And also so when you look at it, it has this very J shape and that's why we call it the J cut transition. So the L cut is the complete opposite of the J cut. With this, the audio of the first clip continues to play whilst the visuals changes on the screen. So when you look in the timeline, we're going to use the same videos. Click on the first video, right click and select extract audio. Now trim off the ending part of it. And now when I play, I show you guys. But anyway, time for a new beginning. All right, guys. On the other side. So you can see it continues playing and it has this L shape and that's why we call it the L cut transition. This is when two clips are connected by something similar. Like for example, when it comes to the shape, the sound, the graphics, and also the movement. So we have these two clips in the timeline, one with the tennis ball and one with the football. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to where the tennis ball goes up on the screen to somewhere here i'm going to cut it exactly when it's coming down trim that side off and then i'm going to cut with the football to when it's about to come down somewhere here i'm going to cut that side off so now i will lift the second clip on top of the first clip then with that selected go to the right side opacity i'm going to turn it down so i can see the second clip below it now what i'm going to do i'm just going to play around it so both the football and the tennis ball is going to be at one place so this is what we do let me increase the scale a bit move it to this side then i can click on the down video increase the scale a bit too and move it to this side so when you look at what we're doing, we're trying to match the tennis ball and the football at the same place. Now click on the top video opacity. Let's turn it back to 100% and let's place it down on this side. So now when I play and show you, and with this, when you add sound effect, it makes it really smooth. In CapCut, we don't have a free adjustment layer that we can play this trick around. So I'm going to show you guys one simple way of using or creating this very transition. So we have the two clips in the timeline. Make a compound clip of it. Select all, press Option and G. This is the middle part of it. Let's drop a marker there so it will be easy on our side. Now select the compound clip. Go to the right side. Click on Video. On scale, let's increase that a bit. We can go to somewhere 150, depending on how you want it to look like. Then I'm gonna go 10 frames backwards, make a keyframe there. Let's change this to 100%. And this was the middle part of it. So I can go from there, I can go 10 frames forward 
and drop another keyframe on that side. So I forgot to drop a keyframe in the middle. So I'm going to do that, take it back in the middle and turn it to 180. And now when I play and show you guys, we have this very smooth zoom in and it transitions very easily into the next clip. Now drop a comment down below which ones you're going to use in your next videos. All right, guys, catch you on the next one. Peace.